This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Animation in PowerPoint is where your PowerPoint presentation can come to life. However, overuse of animation and transition can really leave the audience just playing a guessing game as to what's going to happen next. So it has to be used effectively and in the right measure. Having said that, we're only here to look at the mechanics of adding any of these transition and animation effects. And it's certainly down to yourself to then decide how much is too much or how much is not enough. The first thing we're going to investigate is what's referred to as transition effect. The transition effect is how one slide changes into the next slide. So this is not animation, this is transition. Now the best place to manage really transition effects is actually in slide sort of view. So if we use the Italia presentation file available in your correct working folder and move into slide sort of view, we can see all of our slides. Transitions are then added using the transitions ribbon. So if we choose the transition ribbon and you can see we then have the option in this box here of adding various transition effects. Now if you click the drop down, you'll see all the transition effects. Now they're broken into three categories, subtle, exciting, and dynamic. And you then simply choose the effect you would like. So cover, and you can see how it does it in the preview. Flash, checkerboard, doors, that's like doors opening, zoom. What about one of the dynamic ones, rotate. Quite exciting, conveyor, Ferris wheel. So the effect you're choosing in this dialog box here applies to the selected slide. In this case, that's just slide one. Now in slide sort of view, you can see if a slide has had a transition effect added to it, because down the bottom left where we have the duration of the slide, we have a little star with sort of a tail, so like a comet really. So this slide has a transition effect, as does this one, as does this one, as does this one. But then none of the others do. So the first four slides in this presentation have transition effect. If you want to see what that transition effect is, you select the slide. And you can see in here, it actually says none. But that star is telling me there is transition. And that one, and that one. However, these three slides also have narration which the star could be indicating because it is an action. So you have to be a little bit careful that the star is not just denoting that there is narration on that slide. All the others do not have narration because they don't have that little speaker and they don't have transition. So if I were to pick the weather extremes file and choose a transition effect, we have wipe. And you can see in the preview what wipe does or split or fly fruit. You can see that when it plays it, so I click preview there again, it's a transition between this slide and this slide. So when you actually preview it, you see the previous slide, how it's going to disappear and how this slide is going to arrive. Now, in theory, you can add completely different transition effect to every slide. In reality, that's a little too messy, really. What you ought to do is, in reality, choose a transition effect that you quite like and stick with that for every single slide in this given presentation. That way, your audience aren't trying to second guess how the next slide is going to arrive. Is it from the top? Is it from behind? Is it going to orbit? Is it going to use Ferris wheel? So whichever transition effect you decide to go for, that needs applying to every single slide. Now, we don't need to do that one at a time by going, let's choose that one, let's choose that transition, let's choose that one, let's choose that transition, let's choose that one, let's choose that transition. You can select all the slides at the same time, which is a good reason for doing this in Slide Sorter, using Control A, that selects all your slides. Then from your options on the transitions, you choose the one you like. Let's go for a clock. And that same transition effect is then applied to every slide. And because we've got all the slides chosen, we're gonna to get to preview all the way to the end. Now, given that we have the slides all selected and we've chosen our transition effect, 
We can customize that effect to some deal by choosing effect options. And depending on the effect we've chosen, we'll get various options in here. So because we've chosen the clock, we can choose for that clock to reveal itself clockwise or counterclockwise or as a wedge. So if we choose wedge, see what that does. You can see how it then reveals as a wedge of a clock and then expands outwards. If we were to choose a different transition, such as glitter, then the effect options are with glitter, diamonds from left, diamonds from top, diamonds from right, diamonds from bottom, hexagons from various directions. And again, we get to preview that. Now, during the preview of each of the slides, if at some point you'd like to stop the preview, simply press escape, top left key on your keyboard. Otherwise, you'll need to sit all the way through the preview which could take quite a while. So the tip is to have one transition effect for your whole presentation so every slide arrives in exactly the same way. To add that transition effect to every slide, do control A in slide sorter, as we have here. You can see they're all selected. So if I click away to deselect, control A to select more, then choose the transition effect you like. Say push and escape at that point to stop the preview add any effect options for that particular transition. In this case, the push just has four from the bottom, from the left, from the right, or from the top. So it could say from the top. And each slide will then arrive from the top in exactly the same way each time, so there's no guessing from the audience as to how the transition will take place. So that's transition effects, how one slide changes into the next slide.